What's up, Kerbal Knots? This is Noel on PC, head of the Experimental Research Division here at the Kerbal Space Program. We are on day 39 of our multi-day, multi-week adventure. And today, we're going to launch the first of many stages that will eventually be the Kerb National Kerb Station. Our version of the ISS, the heavy launcher, proved itself to be a worthy craft in the last video. So we can trust it with the super duper expensive payload that cost a lot of funds. So this has to go right. Oh, oh, you know what we don't want? What we don't want is Jeb sitting in that captain's seat just in case. So we're going to, at the last second, do a crew change. We have decided he's just too valuable. We're going to put in Mittmund. Nope. We're going to put in Frolock. He did the moon mission. So he is a seasoned professional. All right. We're not, we're not taking crew up with it simply because the crew seats and the science seats obviously aren't meant for launch. So we are not going to be filling those seats. We will take those payloads up later. Let's fast forward until it's daytime. No one likes a nighttime launch. Happening, right? Okay, there we go. All right. Let's crash this fucker. She's lifting off. That's good. That's good. This payload is much heavier than the previous payloads. Not that I was worried about it. Look at all this thrust. So, little Frolock is taking a massive leap for 1954. It's a pretty big step. Getting a science station for the Kerbal Knots to work on. It's very important for Kerbal Kind. I'm sure they'll make great discoveries up here. Like what happens when you wring out a washcloth in space. which way a fart will waft? You know, profound questions. Profound questions. Okay. We should probably begin our roll just a few degrees at a time. So I'm going to do that now. Probably almost too far, but good enough. I'm gonna come back up a little bit because I think that was too far. That's perfect. Got a good lean on, so as we build up some of this speed, hopefully the craft will straighten out a little bit. There won't be too much wobble. If I can just keep her at 90. Come on, 90. 89. 90. Perfect. Good enough. Good enough. It's on the flight suit. That's good enough for me. Speed's coming on good. Haven't even lost our first stage yet, and we're already at 12,000 meters. We've got some good angle going on. We've got some good lateral speed started anyways. Let's see, how's our orbit looking? Come on. 30,000, yeah, really good. Really, really good. The My my big fear, of course, is the debris that <laughs> we're going to leave behind. So, yeah. You know, that stuff's going to come back around someday. <laughs> I know space is big and wide open, but you never know what's just going to take out a, you know, a solar sail or something some at some point. All right, there goes first stage. See, that's what I'm talking about. When I dump that last stage, all this kind of stuff is uh, is going to be sort of in orbit with me. 
I probably should have put... I would have had to wait a few more science missions before I could afford the big uh, command mod... Not, not command module, the, the drone type command module that would fit the giant gauge right here. If I had one of those, then I could just drive the last stage away a little bit and just dish it into the earth or something. But I don't have that luxury. I have nothing that... They need to make a the drone type thing that clips on like the side of a craft. You know, just a tiny little, you know, like chip module box thing. Yeah. Oh. How are we doing? Okay, we want to be at 250. Which is probably about 1500 meters a second or so. Well, maybe not. Maybe only like 1400. We're going to have to go a little past because we're going to fall. Coming up on 250-ish. burning hard. Just going to make an orbit. We've got more than enough fuel to sort of sculpt it to a nice 250-ish. And then when it, you, you want a nice orbit, and it's usually not that hard to sculpt it down to a round number of some kind, and you want it to be at least round. It doesn't matter what the number is. It can be a random number, but just as long as it's relatively round. You know, periapsis and apoapsis are basically the same number, and it's all good because it'll be really easy to make a rendezvous with it. If you've got a thing that's accelerating or decelerating as it's approaching apoapsis or periapsis, it's hard to uh, it's hard to track, sort of as a pilot when you're trying to come in for a rendezvous. So that's a that's a pro tip for the day. That's my pro tip for the day. Oh, wrong way. Fucking stop. Okay, we're gonna come around to there. Come back around to Apo because it's 252, and then we'll burn to get that parry into a nice round 252, hopefully, or 250. Then we'll burn around to 250, and then bring this down to 250. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this right because it's a space station, and we're only gonna have to do it once. Right? Right. Now this part actually, I can do with just this. Yeah. No. It's a good thing I thought that through. See, you always think things through. Don't just impulsively do things. If you have an idea, be like, right, okay, so if I did this and then this, this would happen and that would happen. Just, just walk it through. I wouldn't add enough RCS to do it. Thinking for the win. 259 and 252. Okay, so we are going to decouple, basically, our final stage with a little fro lock. We are going to get rid of those. There we go. So we look nice and clean. That strut, uh, those decouplers were just there so I could attach struts from, you know, this portion of the main body onto the this main body. Okay, so we have to... I'm going to go to here. Jesus. This is insanity. Okay. I did not expect it to go that fast. Which one of those things is us? It says I'm at 259-ish. I assume I'm that little craft. Yeah, I think I'm that little craft. Okay, let's rename this thing. Oh god, sorry about the dark side. Rename vessel. Um, curb National Curb 
herb station? Sure. Ship lander station. Station. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Okay, there we are. Got a little ways to go. Just coming up. Got some debris floating with me. Not a fan of that. But what am I going to do about it? Alright, 250. Good enough. Always turn RCS off because those little jets will actually move you off course. The SAS won't so much. All right, coming up on one last burn. Fifty and just gonna burn this down 700 more meters. Wow, that's really good. 250, 52. 250 on the dot. That's amazing. So, shall we? Might as well just round it off. Turn off our CS. Make a little maneuver. Two forty nine nine eighty nine, and two forty nine nine ninety seven. Basically five hundred on the dot. Like just a few, just a hair off. That is awesome. GG everybody. GG. Are they gonna dance around like that forever? So we should probably just go. points too far down but I'm, but I'm trying to figure out if I care that much because it's still basically 250 when you're that close you're just making tiny course corrections anyways two fifty yeah good enough perfect okay so now we have the next stage of trying to rendezvous the arms on here. How much time have I wasted so far? Quite a bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to make this one a short one, and I'm going to promise to upload the next portion of this tomorrow. So what we're going to do is we're going to pop two arms, one on each side. I'll probably record the second one and I will upload it tomorrow. So I hope you liked the video. I hope it inspired you to do something awesome like this. I hope you, uh, you know, think, you know, cut, what is it, measure, measure twice, cut once. <laughs> Always measure twice, cut once. Think things through like we did today and we almost avoided a disaster by not acting on impulses. So guys, until next time, peace, love, cheers. <laughs>